The World Poker Tour. The biggest games, the greatest players, and the largest payouts on the planet. The WPT is a series of international high-stakes poker tournaments that can turn amateur players into millionaires and make professionals into superstars. With millions of dollars on the line, it's time for these six players to live the dream of fame, fortune, and the one thing money can't buy, a WPT title. Tonight, on the World Poker Tour. Hi everyone, tonight we're coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada for the North American Poker Championship. I'm Mike Sexton alongside Vance Van Patten, and this is the WPT. That's right, Mike. We are here in the shadows of those great falls at the beautiful Fallsview Casino Resort for the much-awaited battle for continental poker dominance. Well, last season, American pro Scott Clements took down this title, but before that, the bracelet went to an amateur from Canada, Soren Turkowicz. That's right, Mike. And you know, when we come up north on the World Poker Tour, there's always a lot of excitement. This year, the same, because we saw great amateurs and professionals all had to pony up $10,000 Canadian hard cash to take a shot at this title, and we're down to the final six. And Vance, of the final six players, five are Canadians, including the season four WPT Player of the Year, Gavin Smith. Gavin's a great player. He's always fun to watch. And, of course, every single one of the Canadians want to win at the only WPT stop of the year in their home country. Yes, they do. But attempting to play the role of spoiler tonight, the last remaining American is Kathy Liebert. With barrels of Canadian currency and a WPT championship title up for grabs, who will become the next North American poker champion? There is only one way to find out. Let's go watch him gamble. <laughs> okay, here we go. The final table of the North American poker championship about to get underway. We started four days ago with 454 players. We are down to our final six. The winner tonight is going to take home over a million bucks. And right now, the chip leader is Glenn Whitmer. They call him Grabs with close to 3.7 million. And then Gavin Smith, a WPT champion, close to 3 million. And the short stack is Jim Trentholm. He has 1.3 million in chips. Everybody's got chips. Let's see who's going to take down this WPT title. And he's going to start at 5,000. Blinds of 15 and 30,000. Let's go to the table. Let's go to the action. He's on Gavin Smith, the happy-go-lucky mascot of the WPT Tour. He's got ace four clubs, and he's going to raise. Well, Gavin, a former WPT Player of the Year, comes in the pot for 85000 But right behind him, Mark Karam with ace queen of hearts is coming over the top. He's going to make it 285000 to go. Next to act, as they call him, Gramps. He's the chip leader at this point. Glenn Whitmer, he has folded his hand. And now it's on to the firefighter, Jim Trenholm. He's got jack eight. 285. Mark is re-raised to 285,000. Well, he's not going to come in for a double raise with that hand. He goes out. Now around to the young online pro, Ryan Fistler. He folds. Back around to the only lady at the table, Kathy Liebert, five-time WPT finalist. She's got 10-3, mucks the hand. So it's back on Gavin Smith. Gavin's got slightly over a million more in chips than Mark does, but he doesn't have the hand he would like to call a $200,000 raise with. Got the best hand of the three. Says he has the best hand. Not exactly, Gavin. He's still not as good as mine. Mm -hmm. And he is going to gracefully fold his hand, giving the first pot to Mark Karam. Well, that's what a player this Mark Karam is. We've seen him before here on the World Poker Tour. In fact, he's played in five WPT events. That better not become a habit, buddy. He's made the money four <laughs> times, including two final tables. That is impressive stuff. What a player. Mark Karam, oh, give me the million, good. and I'm going to have a harem. <laughs> Uh, one happy guy taking uh, down our first spot here tonight. Uh, you got to get the first wipe before you get the harem, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, right back at him. Action on Mark Karam. And Mark's going to quickly Where fold a 9 7 offsuit into Gramps. Glenn Whitmer. He's got grandchildren as the oldest player at the table, of course. Early in this tournament, Gavin Smith started calling him Gramps. It's stuck. Well, he has folded, as does Jim, the firefighter. All right, the young online pro, Ryan Fistler, now looks down a big slick. He's got ace king. Oh, boy. Big hand here. 85,000. He's going to make it 85,000 to go. Now, Kathy Lee, Ooh. the small blind, has the same hand. She also has big slick. When someone raises on the button and you're in the blind, you never put them on a real strong hand. You just sense they're trying to steal the blinds more often than not. So my guess is Kathy is going to come over the top here with this hand, as most players would do. 
Yep, Kathy taking her time here. The online pro staring her down there while she's making her move. She is going to raise it. Yep, it looks like another 215,000 to go. Gavin quickly folds, and Ryan is squirming in his seat right now, saying, what the heck's going on? What does she have? We'll get the five there. I knew you were going to start this up today. Mm -hmm. So 300,000 total? 300,000 total. How much does she have left behind? I started with 1.6. So you think Ryan would know that early on at the final table, what everyone's chip count was, but just wanted to hear her talk. I'm all in. Wow. I'm going to call you. He goes all in. Kathy quickly calls him. Good chance this is going to be a split pot, of course, because both players have the same hand. hand. Ace King. Ace same hand. You got each other covered. <laughs> That's the best hand you raised my blind with. <laughs> I was hoping you moved with Ace Queen. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> Well, here comes a flop. It's ace queen four all diamonds. Oh, I'm glad you didn't have ace queen. Ace diamonds, yeah. queen so that's a chop flop. There's no two cards that can change the outcome. This will be a split pot between Ryan and Kathy. Yeah, two tens. Irrelevant cards right there. These guys are going to chop the pot. Don't be raising my fly with nothing. You see, I'm going to gamble with you. Kathy Lever, fifth time at the WPT final table, desperate to take home this title. And you know what? She's one of these ladies now that says, pay no attention to my perfume. I'm one of the great players <laughs> on the tour. I don't want to be regarded as just one of the great women players. Moving in. What are you, nuts? <laughs> Kathy's looking for her first WPT title tonight. Let's see if she can get it. All right, stay tuned. We're coming back with more for the North American Poker Championship in just a moment. I mean, I'm a successful poker player. Sure, I'm a successful woman player, but, you know, I don't like it when people kind of try to put you in a subcategory. You know, she's good for a woman, you know, that kind of thing. Kathy Liebert from Las Vegas, Nevada. Judge me on my own merits. I mean, I'm one of the top players in the world, not just a, a woman that's good, you know? It's great, and it's great getting to, to final tables, and um, it's really nice, but uh, it's been a while since I've been there, you know, in season four. He's done it! I wondered how I'd ever miss a final table. And then since season four, I wondered how the hell I'd ever make one again. So uh, it feels good to get back. Well, it's good to have Gavin back at the final table because he's not only a great player, he's always fun, electric, and exciting at a final table. Yes, he is, and that's so true. So it's very exciting for him to be back. And you got to love Gavin also because win or lose, he usually shows up at the final table rooting his friends on. He has a lot of class. And right now, Gavin Smith sitting comfortably in second chip position with about 3.1 million. Our chip leader is still Glenn Whitmer Gramps with 3.7 million. All right, let's go down to the table. It's going to be on Jin Trenholm, the firefighter from Canada. Looks down today, 9-7. Pretty unimpressive. Won't play that. Around to the online pro, Ryan Fischler. Again, he looks down at Ace King, big slick. <laughs> he and Kathy just split an all-in pot a minute ago when they both had Ace King. 85,000. He's got it again, and he makes the same bet of 85,000. Yes, he does. Kathy quickly folding, and now Gavin Smith with Ace-8. Does he want to compete here? He's on the button in position, as we say, but I hate calling raises with Ace rags. Well, he has called it. Mark Karam out. And now Gramps with an 8-5 in the big blind. Won't play that, so here we go. Two-way action. Brian out in front with the ace-king. Gavin with the ace-eight, and it comes ace-queen six. Both players have flopped top pair. Ryan has him outkicked with the One king high. 55,000. And the online tournament specialist, Ryan, going to come out with a bet. Nothing fancy. He's bet 155,000, and Gavin, getting trapped here with his kicker, has called it. And now a king comes off. Ryan now has the top two pair. Gavin Smith is drawing dead. There's no card he can catch on the river to win this pot. All he can do now is cut his losses. 395,000. Ryan not going to play a tricky. He's going to bet 395. And Vince, didn't that seem like a very confident 395 to you? Mm-hmm. Let's see if it feels that way to Gavin. Remember, he's got top pair, but he's drawing dead. WPT champion Gavin Smith in a quandary right here. He's saying, what did I get myself into? I bet it's any money he calls from here out. It's just going over the falls. Yeah. He lays it down. 
So a good lay down there, but it's part of the problem when you're calling raises with an ace eight offsuit. Well, Ryan Fisler, 27 years old, lives up here in Canada. He's been a professional player for five years. He has an 18-month-old daughter, Mike. He does. Vince, the guy says he plays 75 to 80 tournaments a week <laughs> online. So Ryan Fisler taking down the pot, <laughs> hammering away. Next hand has been dealt. It's on Ryan. He quickly folds. Kathy Liebert also going out. Gavin Smith finally picking up a quality hand. Pair of queens. Canadian. Okay, so it's actually going to raise. Got a real hand here. They're not going to push him around now, Vince. I'll tell you that. Mark Karam going out. And Gramps, our chip leader, Glenn Whitmer, looks down at an ace jack offsuit. Yeah. He's very aware that Gavin's a very aggressive player. Just lost the last pot. Could be raiding with anything. 190. So he's going to come over the top here with an ace jack. Makes it 190,000 to go. Now the fireman going to put his hose down for this hand. Back around to Gavin. Be surprised if he didn't come back over the top, but Vince, he's just calling here. Mm -hmm. Does not re-raise with the two queens. Gonna play it conservatively. And here's the flop. Oh, Ooh. the flop comes ace, nine, deuce. Glenn now has the best hand with two aces. He is out front and the action is on him. It's just a troubling flop there for Gavin Smith. 260. Gramps is gonna stick out more money, 260,000. Gavin's kicking himself for not re-raising. Well, Vance, the question is, can he say good night, ladies, right now and save his money? Gramps, what are you doing to me, man? All right, bro, I'm going to let you bluff me. Well, he's going to lay it down, so actually two pretty good laydowns in a row by Gavin Smith. Even though he lost both pots, he didn't go off for a whole lot of money in both of them. So Gramps... 67 years old, Glenn Whitmer extends his chip lead. Six players remain here at the North America Poker Championship, and we're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. It's every guy's dream to be here. How sweet that is, baby! I give the average poker player hope. I'm here. It's possible. You gotta do some wheeling and dealing, but it's not even possible. From Pickering, Ontario, Jim Trenholm. And Vince, you gotta love the firefighter. He always wanted to play in a WPT event. Didn't have the $10,000 entry to do it, so he got his firehouse buddies. They played a series of tournaments. The winner got the entry into this tournament. He won it. Here he is at the final table. Oh, that is a great story. Right now he's down to a million. He's got a little smoke inhalation here tonight, but maybe he can come back. Let's go to the action. Quick fold by Ryan and Kathy. Gavin Smith, he stays aggressive as usual. Raises with the queen four hearts. Right behind him, Mark Karam picks up a pair of eights and is just going to call. Does not raise with the two eights. And now it's on to Gramps, our chip leader, folding his hand. 210. And now the firefighter with wow. ace five of clubs is going to re-raise. He is going to pop it up here. Had to take down his first pot at this final table. Made it 210,000 to go. Gavin has folded, so it's back on Mark Karam with the eights. There you see Jim's fiance. Well, Mark is going to make the call with the two eights. Mark's out in front. Let's see what's going to flop out there. The flop comes Jack 9-7. Mark has two eights in the gut shot straight draw. I'm all in. But right in front of him, the fireman moves all in. And with absolutely nothing, he is going to bet 790000 What a bet by the firefighter. He has busted that window and taken out the axe. He is trying to put the hose on Mark Karam right here. Let's see if it works. Oh, well, you can push the fire alarm if he gets called. Well, Vince, you know, you wonder what Mark's mindset is right now. The last time we saw him at a WPT final table, he went out in sixth place, and you know he didn't want to go out in sixth again. Well, he's got an inside straight draw, and he's thinking to himself, would this guy, this amateur player, Jim, put all his chips in without a big pair or something better than mine? Fold. And he is going to go away. He believes him. 
What a nice bet by Jim. Vince, in my mind, if Mark made a mistake in that hand, it was not re-raising Gavin to start with with the two eights. He would have won this pot rather than lost it. All right, back to the table. 85,000. Ryan Fistler now with King Jack has moved it up to 85,000 to go. Kathy out. Gavin Smith with ace 10 has made the call. Mark Karam going out. Glenn Whitmer, AKA Gramps, lays down the Jack Eight of Hearts. And now the firefighter, Jim. He's not going to play. So we have two way action here going to the flop. Well, the flop comes ace eight four. 165,000. Gavin out in front with the two aces, but Ryan making a big bet here. 165,000. Let's see what Gavin's going to do with his two aces. I mean, moments ago, we saw Gavin lay down an ace eight, and there was an ace king in the hand. But here he's going to make the call. Yep, he's going to be stubborn. He's tired of getting pushed around. Got a better kicker this time. He's made the call. Now a king comes on the turn. This now gives Ryan a pair of kings. Check. And well, he's going to check now. Doesn't have to bluff anymore because he's got a pretty good hand. He's got second pair. Gavin also checking river card of 10, and that's going to help Gavin with aces and tens. Ryan has quickly checked. Yeah. Gavin is going to get busy. 295,000, it looks like. Now, Vince Ryan is trying to figure out what Gavin could have here. He didn't raise before yeah, the flop. He didn't raise on the flop. Do you really put the guy on two aces here? 200 and You're not going to put him on a queen jack. He'd never call a bet on the flop of that. So you wouldn't give him a straight. You're just wondering if he flopped a set, if he made aces up, if he's trying to trap you. I think I'm good, Gavin. Or if he's just got something like a 7-8 and is just trying to steal it here. I'm pretty sure I'm good. Gavin would love to get this action right now. Get unraveled here tonight. Yeah, like it, yeah, like so far, things something. have gone the wrong way for him. He'd love to turn this around and take home his second WPT title. Well, there you see the online pro trying to read Gavin, trying to figure out what he's got. He's got a migraine headache right now, you can see. Call. He's going to make the call. His turn. And Gavin gets these kind of calls because he's such an aggressive player, plays so many pots, steals a lot of pots. Players know that. That's why he gets paid off in situations like this where other players wouldn't. Gavin Smith finally reeling in the chips, going after his second WPT title here tonight in Canada. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action on the WPT. Canadians play poker the same way they play hockey. Very smart, but very tough. Steve Paul Ambrose from Canada will be our champion. Players are really into poker when they've come to Falls View to test their strengths. In the North American Poker Championship, the Canadians have to win. They want to beat the Americans. Absolutely, there's a bit of a rivalry. It goes back to a little war called 1812, and you'll find that there's little battles here at the poker table as well. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. That's right, we are in poker country, Canada, at Niagara Falls for the North American Poker Championship. And we have five Canadians ganging up on the one lone American, Kathy Liebert. The new chip leader is Gavin Smith, WPT champion with about 4.2 million. Glenn Whitmer, they call him Gramps, has about 3.8. And we're playing at the Falls View Casino Resort. Just a wonderful property. This a great event on the World Poker Tour events. When he's going to take home over a million dollars, close to 1.1 million. Let's go back down to the table. Action's going on to Mark Karam. Very tough professional from Canada. He quickly folds. Now the chip leader, 67-year-old Glenn Whitmer. He goes out. Yes, he lays down a 10 deuce. And named after Doyle Brunson. Gramps will win this tournament. He'd become the second oldest player behind Doyle to win a WPT title. Well, Jim has gone out. Ryan Fistler jack. not going to play. So it's a battle of the blind. Yeah, Kathy Liebert with 7-5. Gavin Smith this with a jack be, nine. Good hand. We've made a double big pot here. Here's the flop. Yeah, flop comes king, queen, seven. Kathy out in front with two sevens. Gavin with the gut shot straight draw. And they both check it. Turn card coming up. Six of diamonds. Kathy going to reach for a few chips here. That's 40,000, not a big bet with the two sevens. And Gavin's going to have none of that piddly little betting. He comes right over the top, Vance. He thinks a raise could take this pot away from her. So he makes it 125,000 to go. It's just an inside straight draw and the intimidating look of Gavin Smith. 
Kathy knows Gavin didn't raise it before the flop. He didn't bet on the flop, and all of a sudden on the turn, when a six comes off, he's going to go crazy. She's not buying it. I know you're bluffing, but I can't come. Nicely done by Gavin Smith. It really is, man. Gavin made that play because Kathy made such a small bet at the pot. He pegged her perfectly for the kind of hand she yeah, might yeah. have. He just took the pot away from her. Yes, he did. Okay. And with that pot, the antes are still at 5,000, but the blinds are going to 20 and 40,000. Action right back on the smiling Kathy Liebert as she folds a 10 9. Gavin has picked up two kings. He's oh, got boy. the Cowboys. And he's going to make it 110,000 to go. Good things happening now for the WPT champion, Gavin Smith. Mark Karam folding his hand. And now Gramps peeks down at an ace four of clubs. But once no part of it goes out. Well, we're around to the fireman now. He picks up a pair of sevens, the two walking sticks. He's going to bet 260,000. Yep, he has raised it. Now Ryan with a mid pair, pair of eights. Contemplating a decision. Boy, the fireman better be real careful. He'll be walking out of here with those walking sticks. But in the meantime, the pot's been raised and re-raised. Now well, Ryan's going to lay him down. Oh. And wow. Well, Gavin quickly and quietly goes all in. The fireman makes the call. Oh, boy, he might have just fallen off his ladder right there. Come on. He's, coming. He's not careful. He'll be he back to you. the hook and ladder before Thank you know you. it if he doesn't get lucky here with the two walking sticks. I thought you were stealing one too many. I don't steal, bro. The fireman no. says, I thought you were stealing. How wrong he was. The whole dream of taking home oh, no. over a million dollars right on the line right here with a pair of sevens. So right now, the fireman, Jim Trenholm, in a backdraft. He is up against it. His opponent's got two kings. He's got two sevens. So Gavin Smith, former WPT Player of the Year, well out in front with the two kings. See if they stand up. So far, so good. It's come ace, six, four. Keep him low, keep him low. The one throwing up right now is Ryan Fistler because he threw two eights away. Uh, eight, eight, yeah. <laughs> yeah eight. Hold the puck and eight, six. Wow. <laughs> well, you couldn't eight, call anyways. No way. I'm moving over top. Yeah, yeah, anyways. For the fireman to stay alive, he needs to catch a seven or a five here, man. Yeah, he's got an inside straight draw to go with the sevens. Turn court coming up. Come well, a six comes off. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> well, Gavin breathes a sigh of relief. Because it was a three across, as we say, but for the fireman to stay alive, he must catch a seven or a five on the river. Otherwise, it's back five to the firehouse. Seven, five or seven, five or he seven. He's strike lucky. Seven, Can he get it? No. Seven. Nope, it's a six. So both players make a full house. Gavin's is higher. He's going to take down the pot. And that's going to do it for the fireman from Toronto, Jim Trenholm, out in sixth place. Oh, boy. $133,000 richer. Got in this tournament. Through all his buddies playing, he decided the guy that won the most was going to chip up and get into the World Poker Tour. It's paid off handsomely, but we have to say goodnight to Jim. How you running today, Gav? <laughs> Everything's all right, man. This is my home. Gavin Smith. You don't want to try to take me on here. Breaking in the chips. Five players remain. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. My first final table experience was here in Niagara. Yeah, I was so disappointed, but you know, I'm here again, so hopefully things change this time. I'll play it from day one. I think I'm due for a win. Well, Mark trying to capture his first WPT title like everybody at the table, except for Gavin Smith. The players in seats one, two, and three have all been at WPT final tables before. The players in seats four and six, this is their first time. All right, we have five players remain. Back to the table, Gavin Smith quickly folding. And here goes Mark with Ace King. 110. Yeah, he's going to raise it. Comes in for 110,000. 110,000. Mark raises to 110,000. Glenn Whitmer, not a peep out of him. Quickly folds. And Ryan Fistler also out. Oh, and Kathy Liebert has picked up Big Slick also. Earlier at this final table, she was all in against Ryan. They both had Ace King. Could it happen again? Kathy in the big blind. Looks like she is getting out raisin chips, and indeed she's going all to. In. Makes it 350 yeah. down to go. Mark Karam quickly going all in, and Kathy quickly calling, and both players smiling because they both have Ace King. At least we got all the suits now. We got all the suits covered. There's more sweat this time. Mark looking for the black cards to come up. Kathy's looking for the red ones. Again, Ace King against Ace King for you. 
Well, there's Kathy Liebert's mother in the house rooting her on. You want to chop? <laughs> Most likely, right? The only way the player can win this pot is to make a flush. And the flop is all black. It's come Jack, a deuce with two clubs. Free so Mark Karam on the jelly roll, as we say. The free roll, if it comes club, club, he will win this pot. Otherwise, it'll be a split pot. The four oh, diamonds cool. on the turn. So again, two players with ace king all in before the flop. And again, a split pot. Well, Miss Split, we're going to have to start calling her. Kathy Liebert splitting twice tonight. First time on the WPT, I might add. Seven years out here. We've never seen a person have two splits. <laughs> well, we may have. You can't remember what happened for seven years, Vince. Could be a lot worse, I guess. Don't try to act like that. That's a good point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right back at him. It's going to be on the man they call Gramps, Glenn Whitmer, 67 years old. Pretty unimpressive queen four. He folds. 105,000. Wow, Ryan with the jack seven. Off suit, going to raise it, makes it 105,000 to go. So the online pro getting frisky here. Kathy quickly folding, and now Gavin Smith with a king three is going to mess around. Well, he's going to make the call out of the small blind with a king three of spade. And Mark Karam in the big blind with a six ball four. Ball That's ball incredibly. Mark Karam is going all in with six high. What's really impressive is he's done this on the short stack at the table. He's only got a million. It's going to cost him 200000 to make the call here, yet he moves all in, and he's going to take down that pot. Yeah, they both quickly fold. Yes, that is playing some poker. One guy raises, another guy calls, and you have the moxie to move all in with a six high. Well, they are playing some fast five-handed poker. Very well done by Mark Karam. A little thievery going on here in Canada. That was Mark's dad and sister, Carla. Action right back on Ryan. Just got burned by trying to make a move in that last pot. And this time Ryan's got a 5-3. Won't play. Kathy leave it now with ace three. Will play. And now she's going to raise it. Makes it 120,000 to go. Triples the big blind. Behind her, Evan Smith with a 6-5 of clubs. A little suited connector. He's got the kind of hand that he likes to see flops with. So he's going to make the call. Uh huh. And now we're on Mark Karam. And this time Mark looks down at a 9 5 of diamonds. We saw him move all in with a 6 high in the last hand. All in. When it was raised and called. And incredibly, Mark moving all in again, this time with 9 high. Oh, just absolute fluff and puff. Glenn folds. Kathy out as well. Now Gavin trying to size up. The stack size, and it'll be a healthy call if Gavin would have to make it. He's got more chips, but still, it's a $1.1 million re-raise here. Mark Karam, now officially the Oliver Twist of Canada, just stealing and looting every hand he can get. And doing it against the chip leader, Vince. That's the most astounding part about these two all-in bets. It is virtually on the short stack at the table both times, yet it hadn't slowed him down. And this is probably uncallable, we would think. Well... If he does call Vince, he would think he had two live cards if his opponent had ace, king, or ace, queen. Unfortunately for Gavin, his opponent's got him dominated. 9-5 against 6-5. Just wouldn't make any sense, and he finally mucks the hand. You know, but you see Gus Hansen make those kind of calls sometimes, but Gavin opts to lay it down. But Vince, what can you say about this Mark Karam? In back-to-back -back pots, when one player is raised and another is called, he's moved all in twice in a row, once with six high, once with nine high. That is amazing timing. He is really reading his opponents well in terms of putting them on a hand. Astounding play by him. Just taking the game to another level right now. Back to the table, it's going to be on Gramps, who is a former chip leader. He's got ace-king. 200. Well, he's going to raise it. Makes it 200,000 to go. Ryan out. Kathy Liebert now going to fold. On to Gavin Smith. Wants no part of it, so back around to Mark. This time he picks up a big hand. He's got two queens. Yep. Now he's gone all in a couple pots in a row with a six high and a nine high. I'm all in. Now he's picked up a real hand, and he's going all in again, this time with the two queens. I call. But Glenn is going to look him up. He's called him. Glenn has got ace king. Mark has got the two queens. So we've got the classic race in No Limit Hold'em. Ace king versus two queens. 
Quinn. What a predicament. It is a coin flip situation right now. Am I allowed offering the dealer a bribe? Can I offer him a bribe? No? You like it? Mark has played like so it. brilliantly like the last few hands. He like finally it. gets a big hand. Can it pay off? He's just got to beat Gramps with his big slick. Here comes the flop. Oh, oh an ace right in the door. Awful. It's come ace, five, deuce, all spades. Neither player has a spade in their hand. And as we saw, Gavin Smith folded the queen. So Mark has one out in the deck. Must Three catch the queen of spades to win this pot. A five on the turn, pairs the board. Mark's saying to himself, why couldn't I just have those junk cards again? He's one card away from elimination. Here comes the river. Well, it needs a one-outer to catch a queen. Doesn't get it. Oh, that is sickening. And that's going to do it for the Canadian. Mark Karam out tonight in fifth place. But, Vance, we did see some creativity out of that guy. He is a poker player. Great player. Picking up 171,000. He is stunned. He's out of here. Nice hand, boy. Thank you. We're down to four players at the North America Poker Championship. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action in just a moment. Follow the WBT around the world. Only at worldpokertour.com. Glenn Whitmer, <laughs> he's a monster. Right. He got hit over the head of the deck yesterday and uh, and just absolutely tortured people. What do you got? <laughs> Seven's full. It's fairly apparent that he doesn't care about the money and he's willing to shove him in there. He's funny, man. I, I like him. He's dangerous. We are back here on the World Poker Tour, and they call him Gramps, Glenn Whitmer, potentially the second oldest winner on the WPT. Our two chip leaders are Gavin Smith and Glenn Whitmer, both with about 5.2 million in chips. The online pro Ryan Fischler in third place with 2.1 million, and Kathy has just less than a million in chips. Let's go back down to the felt. Kathy Lieber's gonna fold her hand, and now Gavin Smith with a 9-7 and the button. Looks like he's going to raise. Well, he is going to make it 110,000 to go here. But Gramps, Glenn Whitmer has picked up two jacks in the small blind. 250. Yeah, he's got a real hand. He says 250,000. So he makes it a cool quarter of a million. Ryan with the two fours. Going to lay him down. And without hesitation, Gavin Smith is making the call with a 9-7 offsuit. Now remember, these are the two chip leaders going at it. Gavin going to speculate. Let's see what happens. Flop is king and club. Well, the flop Seven comes king, 7-3. Glenn Whitmer still out in front with the two jacks. He's going to bet 250000 Yep, and Gavin got a piece of that, the pair of sevens. Now he's flopped second pair. He's going to call the quarter of a million. Turn card coming up. And he's just hoping Gramps has got something like ace jack or ace queen. Now the board pairs threes. Let's see what Glenn's going to do here. When he bet on the flop, he got called. He's going to fire again on the turn. Yep, another 250 like it's a limit game. It's not that big of a bet into a pot that's got over a million in it, but Gavin again is going to make the call. Yeah, the amount's going to stick him around. And here we go with the River Deuce of Diamonds. No help to either player. 500. And quickly, Glenn bets 500,000. Yep, Ramp's now going to punish Gavin a little bit more. And he's going to try to. <laughs> Now Gavin's got to be saying to himself, geez, I called the guys raised before the flop. I called the bet on the flop. I called the bet on the turn, yet this guy is still firing. If you're sitting in Gavin's seat, you're saying to yourself, you know, maybe this guy's just bluffing with ace queen race, Jack. Maybe I have the best hand with the two sevens. Here's Mrs. Gramps, Pat. That is, of course, Glenn's wife uh, rooting him on. This is the quagmire you get yourself into when you call pre-flop raises with these marginal style hands of a 9-7 offsuit. You hit part of it on the flop, now you don't know what to do the rest of the way through the hand. No, you're either a hero or a bum <laughs> if you're Gavin and you're so invested at this point, do you pay him off with the last half a million? Well, there's over two million in the pot right now, Vance, so yes, it's gonna cost you half a million, but you're looking at all that money out there and you're saying, mm, I'd be sick if this guy was bluffing me. Well, Gavin wants to sleep well tonight, so he wants to see it. He's going to pay it off. Glenn shows him a two jacks. 
And I'll tell you something. Glenn Whitmer said, you know, these guys don't know how I play. That's why I feel confident. And right there, the amateur player outplaying WPT champ Gavin Smith in that pot. We're coming back to the Falls View Casino Resort for some more big time poker action right after this. Interesting play. Interesting. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We are at Niagara Falls for the North American Poker Championship. Our current chip leader is a 67 year old grandpa, Glenn Whitmer. He's sitting on 6.6 .6 million. Gavin Smith in second place with about 4 million. Brian Fischler, you see him there in third place with 2 million. Kathy Liebert with about 900,000. Action's on Ryan. He's got the 10 7 of hearts, and he's going to raise it. Makes it 110,000 to go. Yeah, making a fast move here. And now Kathy Liebert going to fold a jack 10. Gavin Smith looks down at a jack five, a spade and a small blind. He's going to make the call, though. He's what we call a defender. He's got money in the blinds. He calls and see flops with it. And Gramps with a jack eight of diamonds. In the big blind, he folds it. Kind of yeah. surprising. Very surprising with 280,000 out there. Cost him 70,000 to call when he's a big chip leader, but took the conservative route and laid it down. Here comes a flop. Queen 10 deuce with two spades. Gavin checks a flush draw. 185,000. And Ryan with the tens is going to bet 185,000. Ryan's got second pair. Owen. Ooh, Gavin says all in. Well, Gavin not fooling around here. He's got a flush draw. He's moving in with it. That took the breath out of Ryan. Oh, yeah, he looks stunned here. Uh, that's because he knows if he calls and loses this pot, he'll be out in fourth place. He's been check raised for all his chips, and he's going to lay down the two tens. So a nice all in bet by Gavin Smith reels in the pot for him. Right now, the WPT's Amanda Leatherman is standing by with the newest WPT champion, Vivek Rajkumar. Vivek, you were just here last week taking down your first WPT title, mm -hmm. and you went pretty deep in this one, too. Yeah, absolutely. I went out 15th, I think, but this time I couldn't make the final table. Give me your predictions for this final table. Okay, I think that Gavin Smith is pretty much a gigantic favorite at this point. His style is good for short-handed poker, but you know, you can't count out Kathy since she's a consummate life professional. I think she's gonna do well also. All right, Vivek, thanks a lot. Thank you. Let's get back to the action. It's a pretty bold prediction by the latest WPT champion in that Kathy Liebert only has about 800,000 in chips, while Gramps has over 6.6 .6 million. 105,000. Kathy's going to have to get on her horse if she's going to take down this WPT title. All right, to this hand, Ryan has raised a 105 with a king eight. Kathy out. And Gavin Smith now with a queen five of diamonds. He's going to play. Well, our chip leader, Gramps. And Whitmer looks down at an A6 of clubs and opts to lay it down, Vince. In the big blind, wow. Just can't believe he doesn't make these calls with that much money in the pot to at least see a flop. Taking the conservative route. Well, the flop comes a seven five. So Gavin has flopped bottom pair. He now has the lead. 155K. But Ryan is going to be doing the betting here. 155,000 with just king high. Gavin Smith has caught a little piece of it. Pair of fives. And he's going to get stubborn. He's going to make the call. Well, he's got the best hand. Also has a backdoor flush draw. There's Ryan's wife, Lindsay Fischler. Now a six comes off. So Gavin out in front with the two fives, but he checks. Ryan now has an open in okay. straight draw and wants to take the free card off. So he checks. And the dream card pops off for Ryan. A four comes up, giving him an eight high straight. Now Vince, Gavin is going to try to represent what Ryan is holding, and that's a straight as he comes out and bets 275,000 with the two fives. And Ryan did a little subtle moaning there. Well, Vince, he's wondering, geez, could Gavin really have an eight, nine in his hand? That's the only hand that can beat me. But I think with an eight high straight, you have to raise in this situation. It's just a question of how much you raise. You want to make a small raise so your opponent pays you off, or do you want to make a big raise and make it look like you're just bluffing? We'll make it 700,000 total. And he's going to make it 700,000. That's a $425,000 raise. And there's no way Gavin can call the raise. 
He's either going to fold or come back over the top. He opts to lay it down. So Ryan Fischler, aggressive by raising before the flop with the King 8. It's two running cars to make it straight and takes down that pot. They are rambling and gambling here at Niagara Falls. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We're at Niagara Falls for the North American Poker Championship. 454 players started. We are down to four. Four players left, fighting it out for over a million dollar first place prize. Gavin Smith trying to capture his second WPT title. All the others trying to capture their first. Five-time WPT final table player, Kathy Liebert, on the short stack with just about 800,000. She quickly folds. And now Gavin Smith, the WPT champion, is going to raise with Queen-9. Going to make it 110,000 to go. And Glenn Whitmer again looks down at two jacks yep. in the blind. He won a big pot off of Gavin the last time he picked up two jacks in the blind when Gavin called him with a 9-7 off suit. Going to make the same lucky bet from 250,000 ago as Ryan folds. Back on Gavin. It's an additional 140,000. Well, Vince, he's in position on the button here, but again, calling a raise from a tight player with a somewhat marginal hand. Let's see if it works out for him. Oh, well, it's come king, jack, seven. Glenn Whitmer has flopped three jacks. And Glenn is going to bet the same amount, 250,000. He loves that number. This time he has a set. How sweet it is. Well, Gavin Smith has the gut shot straight draw. A 10 would give him a straight. Do you want to call a quarter of a million on a gut shot draw? Well, Gavin, take it easy. This is your ultimate nemesis. You nicknamed him Gramps early on in the competition, and he has made you go into a little bit of pain here tonight. Well, and so far, he's treating Gavin Smith like a stepchild. And Gavin is going to gamble here and make this call, needing a 10 to win the pot. Gavin wants revenge. Vince, he keeps trying to beat this guy. He's trying to outdraw him. Here comes the turn card. Oh, it's a jack. That gives Glenn four of a kind. 250. And he's going to bet it, which is a mistake. He's going to chase away Gavin. And yes, he does. Gavin folds. Well, you're right, Vince. You don't want to bet with a cinch of four of a kind into an aggressive player. Give him a chance to bluff at the pot. Check to him at least once anyway. But Glenn Whitmer came to this final table with a chip lead. He still got it. This retired real estate broker from Waterloo, Ontario, Canada, got in his turn on a $170 satellite. What a show he's putting on. Can he cross the finish line? Will Gramps become the champ? This amateur is up against three tough pros, including former WPT Player of the Year Gavin Smith and five-time WPT finalist Kathy Liebert. What a show we're going to have next time around. Well, I hate to tell you this, but we're just about out of time up here at the North American Poker Championship. Join us next time for more poker action here on the WPT. So long. Next time on the World Poker Tour. Come on. Come on. I think she's got a gamble when she's done it. Don't play a hate, drop an eight. Hey, how many grandpas do we see wear sunglasses at the table? Gramps, why are you doing this to me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Show us the money. Cool. Gramps. Oh, boy. All right, back in the game. I don't understand what this is for. <laughs> <laughs>